this. It's March 21st today, which is actually 34 days after Valentine's Day, so still topical. Um, <laughs> Valentine's Day is very romantic, isn't it? I don't know, perhaps you, uh, madam, you and your lover, you're shaking your head, go with it, I haven't got time. Or perhaps you and your lover went on a nice intimate romantic meal, didn't you, together? Maybe he bought you a gift, some flowers, some roses, some chocolates, bubble baths, or see, my girlfriend dumped me. So, that's science. None of you believe I've ever had a girlfriend. Cheers. Um, no surprise she dumped me, to be honest. I was a terrible boyfriend. I used to do awful things to her. I mean, I remember once, and it shaves me to a bit this, but there was unfortunately a time when I, uh, I beat my girlfriend. At Scrabble, at Scrabble, then she beat me at chess, so I punched her. Um, um, Jortal, student competition, I'm a student, obviously, I'm an English student, so I'm very fascinated by language, the way humans play with language. For example, we like to apply, say, say a colour or a theme to a day in order for us to have a residence in our minds, and over time they ever have, they've got quite, quite poignant messages, you know, quite powerful moments in history. So for example, you've got, you've got Black Monday, haven't you? Financial meltdown, economic crisis, monetary mayhem. Right, then you've got Bloody Sunday, you know, the blood of the red, of the blood of the atrocities in Ireland, tragic, the death toll that just kept rising and rising and rising. And then you've got Orange Wednesdays, cheap as <laughs> uh, But people are full of expressions you now. Like I used to work in a uh, Great Ormond Street Children's Hospital. Right, it's an old famous expression, you probably know, that goes, if you play with fire, you're gonna get burnt, right? A weird on a great one, it's slightly different. They went, if you play with burn victims, you're going to get fired. <laughs> Don't work there anymore. <laughs> right, I want to talk to you now about an encounter I had recently with my parents. Right, because I was having a conversation with my mum about drugs. Right, and my mum, she's quite clued up, quite socially aware, so it's a very light-hearted conversation. But my dad, the opposite. Okay, he barged in, startled by the word drugs, demanding an explanation. Right? At which point I saw the opportunity to wind him up, a uh, comedian. And so I began explaining to my dad, I said, Dad, I'm really starting to worry about drugs, about, about the pressures put on by society, about, about the expectations of the media and of my mates, and I'm becoming more and more worried and I'm sick to the stomach by the day that I would eventually succumb to a temptation to do drugs, to which ultimately I never want to have to. And he replied, and this is no word of a lie, he said, Son, always get into peer pressure. It's better than having no mates. 